So, you know how this starts off, right? And if you don't know, can't forget the clapboard. What's up, everybody? I'd like to welcome you back to The Retired Gamer. I'm your host, AO is the Future. And tonight, I got another reaction for you. This time, it's going to be XG's Chill Bill. It was kind of in the air because I got in a lot of requests for reactions from them. Um, specifically, Chill Bill, Left Right. And um, there was another one too that was thrown in the mix. It was like, um, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was like um, Shooting Star. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So that's what it was. Somebody asked me to do Shooting Star. So what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to end up doing two reviews, but I'm going to do um, another reaction request. And um, there's like another group, uh, Yara. So. What I'm going to do is I'll separate this in two separate videos. So that way, if you want to just look at the Chill Bill video, you'll be able to. Or if you want to check out the Yara video, you'll be able to. And um, that way, you don't got to kind of go through and filter everything and, and, and find out where everything's at. So in the meantime and in between time. So um, I'm just going to click on this right here. And I'm just going to pause this real fast. You know what I mean? Just because I need to get this full screen and I need to get locked in. And already on the opening screen, I see XG. I like this font. A little kind of different right there. A little, little different. But um, more importantly for me, um, I'm just looking at the, the actual uh, cinematic feel of what I'm seeing. I, I always look at music videos from a directorial um, perspective because I, I just have been shooting and filming for so long. So whenever I watch a video... That's kind of like the lens that I'm looking at through it. Um, however, I have also I'll, I'll 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 bring I'll bring it full circle with why I look at things the way I do. Let's just focus on a reaction for now. So let's get to it, right? So. Seven crash on there. Okay. Okay. Live it up. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, Jared. Jared. Yeah. Yo, like honestly, when she starts spitting in that, that second language, when that comes in, that's like for me, for some reason, that's where it's at. Like it's just, it just has like such a great like like cadence and delivery. Like it's so, and she's so locked in in, in like her delivery. So it, she's like really, really in the pocket with that. I, I, I almost want to bring that back a little bit. Let me just, I just want to bring that back real fast. Okay. <laughs> Young, but I'm boss with it. Know what I mean, I, like I understand that completely. You feel me? Yeah, punchlines make you run it back. Hey. Okay. 
Hmm. Something about somebody being broke. Mm. So that that was like a one shot take right there. Um, I don't think I seen a single edit far as the the video goes, which um is is pretty impressive that uh that they did this in one shot, one take. So um is there a lyric video for this? Yo, I was about to say there had to be a lyric video for it. If not, I'm going to make one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is like, I really appreciate this about this this blended genre of like, um, of like K-pop and hip-hop. What I really, really appreciate about it is that you can kind of run it back and try to decipher and and get that translation like that I, th I feel like that really really adds an element to like the listening perspective because you want to kind of like like obviously you want to hear what they're talking about but more importantly you want to listen so that way you can comprehend what they're talking about in between their bars so that way their punchline is actually like 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 it's, it's actually hitting you the punchline got to hit if the punchline ain't hitting it's not a punch you know what i'm saying that's just like a slap <laughs> you know what i mean Love the simplicity of the music as well. It uh it keeps things focused on the the momentum from the lyrical uh, approach and lyrical dialogue. Okay. Dale, yeah. Gotta let. Yeah. Please. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's drip, baby. Let me all the negativity. Hey. That's so fire. Yo, that, 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 like, that, those, like, four messages right there are just so fire. From Turn Me Up, Turn Me Up. That's fire. Uh-huh. Ain't no penny for you, yo, ain't, yo, love it. Ain't no penny for your thoughts, you know what I'm saying? I, I stay telling people to listen, like, like unless you're getting paid to think, man, don't try to tell me what to think. <laughs> <laughs> love, I just love that bravado, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you, you kind of got to have that bravado when you, when you rapping and when you flowing. You, you kind of have to have, like, that apex mindset, you know what I mean? So, um, I love that, that's, that's fire. Young, but I'm boss with it, right? <laughs> what she say about C <laughs> Yo, what she said about CeeLo Green? Hold on, man. Fire. <laughs> Straight forget your broke ass. <laughs> the lights turn CeeLo Green. Love to play on words. Yeah, I like it. I just like I just like there like I said, I really appreciate the whole blended approach to the genre. I feel like they're adding another element, like almost another dimension 
to to the hip hop um uh, feel with just that the the whole aspect of the the cultures and all that. So um man yeah so I'm uh man that's really really dope. I really really appreciate just just getting exposed to the new content you know what i mean so um just because uh so much stuff comes across the table especially when it comes to like like looking at new music so like the the way the reason why i look at things the way i do when it comes to um not just music but the visual aspect of music videos um i like i'll, I'll show you so years ago i had a hip-hop group called run for a set and we had a video called Zombieland. So this is like one of our videos. So um, within my hip hop group, me and my brother, we, we you know, we, we rapping and stuff, but what, what I really want to do is, I really want to bring like a, like a different element to like hip hop, to, to the hip hop and music that I was making. I didn't want to make the same type of shit. I don't want to sound like everybody else. I want to be myself in a, in a sea full of everybody being everybody else. So, um, I didn't blend in the the genre of, I don't want to say the genre. I didn't blend in like cultures to, to that capacity of what XG is doing. What I did was I just took the approach of like shit that I like, things that I like, you know what I'm saying? Like that was um, interesting to me. I love horror films. So um, we were doing a zombie walk in a local area and I was like, shit, let's, let's put together a, um, a music video for the zombie walk, it'll attract a bunch of attention. Now, at this point, me and my brother, we were doing a bunch of shows all across New York State, and um, it was very difficult getting shows and stuff. But at the same time, so this is this is this is me right here. That's me right there, and um, me and my wife, we did we did the makeup. We did four hours of uh, of actual physical makeup. Um, I made the blood in his. I made I made like three different types of blood. Um, and, and mind you, we never ever did this. So, and, and I'm sharing this with you so that way to kind of inspire you to let you know that you are capable because this right here is almost 10 years ago. And I feel like to, to me, this looks pretty, this, this, this looks pretty decent. You know what I mean? Like, and, um, you know, so that's that.